Outdoor Adventures. Greetings all, Chook here from Chook's Outdoor Adventures. Well, an interesting comparison. We have two different platforms, but a similar price. So we have the Bull Armory SAS 2 Ultralight here in 9mm, and we also have the new P365 Legion, the AGX. Uh, they're both around $1,300, $1,350, so, and they both have a similar length of barrel so i'm going to look at them side by side i'm going to take it to the range and see which one i like more so it should be an interesting comparison here we go side by side such an interesting comparison this supposedly holds 16 rounds and this holds 17 rounds in the magazine then of course it's plus one but the barrel size surprisingly is very similar because as you can see we have the expansion chamber on the slide ports on the slide sticking out there so they're both very similar to a 3.25 inch barrel i think this is slightly shorter but this is lighter because of the alloy i think aluminum frame trigger i have to give it to the bull armory Hammer fired feels better and it's like a three pound trigger. This I measured and it's like a four and change. <laughs> yeah, no, no question. This has a better trigger. One thing I don't like about the 2011 or double stack 1911 platforms is you carry cocked and locked. So it's an extra step for me to take down the safety and fire, which you can train for, but I prefer just drawing and firing. Um, I like hammer fired better than striker fired, but as far as carry, striker fire is a little bit less thinking and a little bit easier and faster in my opinion. Um, but we'll see if the weight makes a difference and if this comp slide makes a difference. But interesting comparison, two very different pistols in 9mm with some similarities, both all metal. Let's take them to the range. I'll give you my final thoughts. All right. We are going to pit the Bull Armory SAS 2 Ultralight with the Legion P365 ADX or AGX or DHG. Or I, I, it's so hard to remember these acronyms. Both 9mm both around the $1,300 price point. Um, I didn't like the thumb safety on this. It's a kind of double stack 1911 concept. So a little hard for my thumb to reach. I'm gonna shoot this first and try to be mindful of that safety because I was popping it up my first test. Man, that's so light. It's really snappy for a, a nine millimeter because they got that aluminum alloy frame. It's extremely light. Let's try the Legion and I'll see which one I like better. Wow. Oh, oh okay. It locked back. That's it. So between these two, I hate to say it, uh, this has a way better trigger, just extremely light three pound trigger. I gotta pick the P365 Legion. It's slightly heavier, it was less snappy, and I just enjoyed shooting it more. So especially for carry, I had a couple times where my thumb popped up, just barely touched that safety and it wouldn't fire, it would lock up. Um, I don't like that. So, um, you know, maybe for the range, it's a better shooter. It was more snappy for 1300 bucks, even though it's a ridiculous price. I choose the Legion hundred percent. So let me know what you guys think. I know a lot of you will disagree with me. Nevertheless, the SAS two, very cool pistol. I would love to have one. There you go. Let me know what you guys think.
Shootout Adventures. Why don't you call us that?